we all need a resting place. And behind me I have the twin towers that were destroyed 9-11. And you know what? It was spiritual racism and religion has become nothing but spiritual racism if it is unloving and most religion is. So it's, it's therefore time that I, I now declare that all, every knee shall bow unto love and every tongue shall confess love. That is Christ's name of First John 4, 7. And Mickey and many have been telling me for a long time now, it's a world of festering fears and tears. The darkness thereof is, is terrible, the gross darkness of unloving ways. And only perfect love can cast out all fear. And Mickey and Minnie are always excited, and I am the messenger from Canada, from the north, Isaiah 41, unto Israel, that they have inherited all mankind. They are Chrislam, Isaiah 62, 2 foretold. They, they would have a new name. And God named them Chrislam because they have inherited all the, all the Christians and all the Islamics into their midst. Because it's never been about born-again believing. It's been of love. Jesus said all sin will be forgiven except the unforgivable sin of letting your love light go out. Jesus said even sin against me would be forgiven, which means if you don't believe in him, that will be forgiven too, according to the words from his own mouth. So rejoice that only blasphemy of the Holy Spirit would send someone to hell. And uh, this world has to quit pointing, especially Christians. Uh, 300,000 Christians are being slaughtered, year, slaughtered yearly because they're pointing at people, condemning everyone, and they're getting their fingers cut off. Well, you wonder why people don't like being condemned. And, you know, I'm not saying anything other than this is insanity, and it needs to stop. So it's time that uh, when our uh, Messiah of all religions spoke his truth, what he was saying was that people must convert into being as little children again, because otherwise we become in the land of the walking dead. We have a form of godliness, but deny the power of love whom God is. And then we, we're in the land of the walking dead. Unless anyone is truly born again spiritually from the Lord Adonai's word of, of the blissful life of eternal eternity ahead, would be kept from them by their own spiritual suicide if they let God's light in them go out. Because uh, love is not of ourself, it is the gift of God. He is love, and those who love are born of him and know him, because God is love, First John 4, 7. So praise God that it's time that we need to realize that the only difference between hell's inferno and becoming a castaway there and having uh, eternal love is just to keep your love alive. Those walking with the Spirit are never under condemnation. And for this reason has the Lord uh, anointed me as his latter-day Daniel who would restore all things. To, he has anointed me to be able to tell uh, and teach all children of the world, line by line, precept by precept, would the strong and mighty one come as a destroying storm to, to, to uproot all distortional, delusional religion in, in favor of the faith, the only true faith of love, peace, and hope for better days ahead. Even prophecy was never told to tell the future, but to change the future. And it, that is provable, because in these latter days, there is only one place in the Word of God that declares this, and this shall be considered in the latter days. Thus saith the Lord God, I shall return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if my uh, people will give me the desire of my heart. Boy, uh, Minnie is getting right into this. She's reading faster than me, though, so i got to try to speed up. And it's time that people need to start having closed uh, uh, hearts no more. Open your minds. Receive the great ocean of the uh, uh, adoration that the Lord is wanting. And uh, know as well that uh, these are the days of the um, prophethood of Jeremiah being exalted among the nations. He was, is, always shall be the main um, kingdom age uh, prophet. And that is why he is saying, I will be your God. You will be my people. Uh, Jeremiah 31, 
God wrote this Kingdom Age covenant to all of us. And it, it, the destroying storm is the appointment of Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 in my mouth, the word of God in my mouth, uh, to restore all things. Because the truth is that uh, it's time that God wants to tear down all kingdoms of man's imagination, not build solely upon his unconditional love. So let the wise understand that all religions, or no, none, have some inherent truths. And all of us have certain truths, regardless of uh, what we call ourselves. And for this reason, our Lord will encourage all of the finders of his truest truths of love and forgiveness, which is both the, the same thing. Um, forgiving someone 70 times 7 is obsolete, people. We have to forgive people 70 million trillion times 700 million, 770 million, 707,000 to the 10th power. Love is forgiveness. And there is no such thing as love unless it is unconditional. And uh, this is the truest truth. And all the world has been under distorted understandings of love. The gross darkness has truly been of love in this world. And now the wheat and the tares can never grow together again. Um, it is the harvest time of love, and one must awake to the, to the truth that I am preaching, that we have had nothing but an apostate world, uh, born of confusion of love and misunderstanding and darkness of our own hearts. These are the days that uh, I must reassign um, all of our desolate heritages exactly as Genesis 4, 49, 12 says that I have full authority to do because that is what was foretold to happen in the latter days in Isaiah 49, 8. Desolate heritage is empty of love. So it's time that the uh, Christian versus Islamic stop and Islamic versus Christian stop and Jews versus everybody stop. It's time we all stop our insanity. When we uh, were, before our languages were confused at Babel, God said of us, if we stand together, there's absolutely nothing that can be kept from us because we are his children of light. We are angels in the flesh. Uh, he said that we were gods, but I'm telling you, the glory of the latter house is greater than that of the former. The first are last, the last are first. And that's why Jesus said we are gods in John 10. Uh, and that's why the word says we, we shall be as the angels, neither male nor female, in the afterlife. And that's why we will judge the fallen angels before us, because they are our own uh, of just another house. So know the false religion abides everywhere within any group condemning uh, any group condemning this group and this group condemning that group. All religion is in vain. Uh, the whore of Babylon is twisted religion and all are a party to it all the main religions on word in this world so now the lord says unto those who will arise in the newness of understanding of his love he says arise and it is time to leave every church mosque and temple that will not accept this word of love and it's time to vacate and it is the shattering of the power of the holy people the, this vision was written plainly on the tablet, so all those who read it may run and hear uh, the word here of read by the one who is pushing. Uh, and the Father once again speaks unto his sword messenger, uh, as Moses declared in Deuteronomy 18, 18, one like him, a kingdom age covenant giver and a writer, a writer of the flying scroll, Zechariah 5, writer of the everlasting gospel revelation 14 the writer of habakkuk 2 2 uh, written plainly so people will run the writer that moses foretold one like me the writer uh, of isaiah 28 line by line precept by precept with the strong and mighty one come and the lord has therefore raised up a prophet like moses and all men shall be accountable for christ's end time kingdom age message so once again, the Lord says, once again, I have raised up a prophet as Moses, uh, who has written much more than he at my command, says, uh, says the Lord, I have been writing for 20 years. I make what 
Moses wrote in the first few books of the Bible, I dwarf it. That's why I've got over 4,000 videos in uh, like a little over one year. And so know that these are the days of Daniel, the days of the sickle of my spirit that will cause my pride, the family of the Lion of Zion, to believe in my truth of love anew with new hope. That uh, prophecy was not told to tell the future, but to change it. That is why Jonah 3, Nineveh was not destroyed and God relented. And once again, he will do the same. That is why he is saying, I will return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation, just as it is written in the word of God in Jeremiah 30, 24. And it says, and this shall be considered in the latter days. And if you will not consider it, you are uh, a spiritual abomination. It's true. So, praise God. Let the just know that he loves the atheist, the agnostic, and all souls exactly as we are. The truth is, he sees none of us as we are, but all of us as we will be. Angels in the flesh, the glory of the Lord's love is within us. And every person ever born has been a person of love at heart, at least to the beginning. But many will say, Lord, Lord, and he's going to say, I don't know you. you. You let your love light go out. So don't be silly, because it's love alone that saves any of us. All men are hypocrites. Let God be true and all men liars. So understand that the Lord says, I do not love Christians any more than Islamic or Jews, every man, atheist, agnostic, every person are all equal in my sight. But uh, it's time that, it, he says, the Lord says, when I asked, would there be any faith on earth? And that's what Christ uh, asked in the word. Google it. He said, will there be any faith left on earth at my return? He was not talking about Christians, Jews, Islamics, but only the faith of love in motion. And that is what needs to come again to stop this kind of garbage in behind us. So thus saith the Lord God Almighty, let all people receiving eternal life from their love light being on, letting them walk under no condemnation in their life ever again. Let them all come to see that just as some sleep early because they did not take the condition of their hearts into account before taking sacraments. Uh, just totally uh, in your face, spitting at God. Uh, so too will multitudes live forever within accursed places as dark as a black hole. Uh, as the lost are destroyed for anyone letting their love light go out. Only unto my Elijah of this soon ending... Uh, the age of grace has now ended. Have I given the full disclosure of his divine secrets of uh, the Revelation 10:7? The mystery of God is over, and the first was last, and the last was first. Uh, there is no purgatory for those embracing hatred. Uh, they shall just cease to be exist because that is uh, the the unforgivable sin of Scripture. And they will enter a place of void where there would be wailing far worse than hell. Uh, for with salvation comes the great responsibility to cease all hatred, or else the Lord's wayward elect would only become unrepentful, unrepentful backslidden uh, haters that will be destroyed. But otherwise, all people walking the good road of love, keeping their love light light on as a little child, uh, they will all receive the, the gift of life. And it does not matter, the Word of God declares, how long you have been laboring in the vineyard of God. All receive the same pay at the end of the day. The inheritance is the same for one and all of us, according to the Word of God. And so praise the Lord that it's time that the Lord says, My gift of eternal life has been given without repentance, and the incurable incorrigibles of all religions are but the narrow-minded, shallow-as-a-glass-of-water individuals who cannot even hear this word of peace because they are nothing but evil Pharisees. And let no man deceive the masses into believing that they are holy because none have ever been aside from me alone says the Lord. So let all man people learn about my will. And he is calling each of our names as if we were the only ones. And in the
endless days of his word resounding, uh, he is sending forth a new message. And the new message, it'll be as a cloud by day and as a fire by night. God supernaturally moves forward, especially through the music of Joanne McFadder. Uh, no better spontaneous uh, than Steve Swanson, and there's a few of them. Um, but the Lord says this, The terrible thunder of my displeasure will become like a so far trumpet over all of those covered by my blood who are, are discarding my word of love. Herein says the Lamb of God, who is worthy to judge all men's evil alone. Verily, verily, I say unto all Abrahamic places of my worship, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, it matters not if Daniel is or is not Elijah, uh, because my most abundant word of glory is flowing within my living waters herein, so that my own will thirst no more, as I bring forth such a miracle of love upon earth, that most man-made religions will disappear exactly as followers of Zeus and Jupiter dead, but Daniel is my servant of Isaiah 49, says the Lord. So let all obedient Muslims, Christians, and Jews now leave all apostate places that will not begin talking about this word of my love to the nations. The, the, the word has been foretold that the sword must be beat into the sickle of the everlasting, uh, for the everlasting harvest of love. And let all those bowing down now do so. Let their worship begin with dancing and with those speaking in tongues. And let the Bible, the Quran, the Dove, and all scripture of all religions now have some level of, of respect uh, by the obedient because there is truth in all of them. And let everyone quit arguing about it. And um, so praise God. And uh, please watch the Islamic uh, apologist, Dr. David Wood. Uh, David has the most remarkable uh, uh, testimony. And, and, and seek that out. It was, it was amazing. But I wanted to add one other thing. There's another video that y'all need to watch. It's called The Deathbed Confession of Anton LaVey. Now, Anton was the writer of the Satan's Bible in the beginning uh, of the Church of Satan. And he did the same thing uh, as Charles Darwin. He recanted fully evolution, by the way. That's historical. Um, what uh, Anton did, he was like, oh my God, my God, what did I do? What did I do? But, but he was introduced to our beloved love of the ages on his deathbed. And that man was enlightened and born again. So praise God that uh, the Lord is now shining his brightest light of the ages so that the, the world may come to see that it's time to abandon hatred. For if peace does not come between apostate Muslims, Christians, and Jews, the, our final days would be upon us, and nothing but the, the total oblivion of earth would happen. Thus saith the Lord God Almighty, uh, unless these days were cut short, no flesh could survive, and there is absolutely nothing under the sun that could cut time short except by the, the word of God alive and flowing again, just as Daniel 12, 9, 4 told uh, that it was only closed until the time of the end. It had to open, says the Lord, because the message to Malachi uh, that would prepare my way, says Christ our Savior, Redeemer, and King. Um, it had to open because uh, for the world to realize that his love, even though it's been valved, has been over each and every one of us. So uh, may the chain of this uh, video's letter be not broken. For by the iron of man's unity shall the iron of godly resolve be sharpened as, as a, 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 the sharpest razor blade as even non-believers uh, accept this wake-up call of love for absolutely all people. For this message from the Lord will bring forth the needed time of rest, the days of the great refreshing, as it was foretold, because Christ cannot even return, as it is declared in Acts 3.21, unless the restoration comes forth. And the rod of his mouth is the hammer of God, and he destroys by pulling down distortional garbage.
first before he builds his kingdom age. And that is the shattering of the power of the people. That is the appointment of Jeremiah to do so in Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2. 2. And all that are opposed to this are spitting in Christ's face and Gethsemane uh, over his most passionate prayer for our brotherhood to arise. And they're spitting in his face in John 10, his prophecy that he would arise as the good shepherd over all the flocks of men. So you want to end uh, racism and terrorism and all the root causes of hatred abiding in all people. We have to have a restored, redefined faith, one, one people under one God, one beloved, one life, one cause, one faith, oneness. And uh, now shall all powers and principalities of the darkest forces be shaken now that Satan has been removed in accordance with Daniel 12, 1. For he was the accuser of the brethren, and he would have made God into a liar, because day and night he was before the Lord accusing us. And our Lord is saying, I will for, I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. Uh, and uh, Satan would have made him into a liar. Jeremiah 31, 32 to 33. And know that God is the God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. So know that the mightiest wind of the Lord God is now blowing, and he's allowing his resonating thunder to go before him uh, as his most explosive alarm of the ages now resounds to awaken all sleepers. Now is the time when multitudes shall begin shining as the, stars, as the stars that we were fearfully and wonderfully created to be with the reflected glory of our ancient of days, Emmanuel, going in front of us. And he would have his, all of his people of love to know that his greatest honor has now manifested herein, and it is a flame with everlasting life and everlasting love for all believers walking in that word of love. So it is time. And know that Chrislam is the faith of love for everyone belonging to it. And that is absolutely everyone. No one can get out of Chrislam because God has joined all mankind together. Whether we like it or not, it's got nothing to do with what I like. It's got what his word says. And it is now stressing that there are no good men and anyone daring to say they are, are the exception. They are just liars. There is no good man. And there are just hypocrites who have been deceived either by satanic aliens or by their very own ignorant faith, for there is no darkness but ignorance of love alone. So let the obedient now be blessed by the Holy Spirit as they cause all of YouTube videos uh, uh, of this channel to begin being uh, comments. Uh, I don't expect it. I expect ignorance. I was foretold to be ignored in Isaiah 41. Israel would not say a mumbling word, but the rest of the world will come to realize I am right. It says so there. Read it for yourself. One from the north, Isaiah 41, who is letting Israel know they have inherited all mankind, uh, as it is written in Isaiah 54, 3. So praise God, it is time to move ahead. And uh, for the message of Elijah and the Lord is now contained and the Lord's voice, roaring louder than ever before, can be heard whispering his hottest fires of love, passion, and faith for a kingdom age to arise. For just as John the Baptist cried out in the wilderness, so too does the Lord uh, allow me to cry out from the desert of ignorance. Uh, uh, and it is the very same wasteland that uh, John was crying out in. So let the just finally understand that the very last trumpet of the Lord within the 10th chapter of the book of Revelation, Revelation 10, 7, it has blown first because the first are last and the last are first, which Jesus himself always taught. And as the seventh divine trump trumpet resounds, every knee shall bow unto he who is worthy to reveal the mystery of God, he who is love, and every knee shall bow at love, at his name love, that, that John the Beloved named him in First John 4, 7. Every tongue shall confess love, and that's just the way it's going to be. So it's time that we get with new programs as we let the lights go out.